So we all have those moments when we're feeling down. Well, guess what can make you feel better almost immediately? Spending money. You got it. It turns out that for the most part, we all like shopping. Even when we're buying things we don't really need. When we're feeling depressed, going to the mall on a spending spree can give you a feeling of relief. It feels good. So much better than having to deal with all of your problems. It's kind of like a drug. But what can start out as an innocent habit of some retail therapy can lead to a shopping obsession and even a full-blown addiction. This addiction can give you major money problems, financial stress from running up your credit cards, and even relationship problems because we might try to hide our spending from others. At its worst, we might even be tempted to steal money from our retirement accounts or even from family members to feed a shopping obsession. So, how do you handle the urge to go shopping? In this video, I give five tips for how to stop spending money. Coming up. Hey, I'm Dr. Brad Klontz. On this channel, we help you transform your relationship with money, master the psychology of wealth, and live a life of abundance. So, if you're new here, please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So tip number one, ask yourself, why are you shopping? Sure, it does feel good, but why are you doing it? Are you trying to fill an emotional need by shopping? Are you feeling lonely, sad, depressed, or angry? For many of us, that's exactly what's happening. We're trying to fill a void in our lives. So why are you shopping? Tip number two, embrace your emotional needs. So we've established that you're spending to fill an emotional need. So I want you to embrace your emotional needs. What are some better ways to fill that sense of emptiness inside or to help you feel less alone or less stressed? How about talking to a friend or journaling about your feelings or even cuddling with someone you love? How about going for a jog or just having a good cry? Work on finding other ways, better ways, to help you satisfy your emotional needs. Tip number three, leave your credit cards at home. So when you do go out shopping, take cash with you and leave your cards at home. Research shows we spend about 30% less when we use cash. It hurts slapping down those $20 bills on stuff we don't need. Tip number four, hit the mental pause button. By this I mean try to put some time between your impulse to buy and pulling the trigger. Hitting the mental pause button can really help a lot. Jot these questions down on notes on your phone and read them before you hit the checkout counter. Do I really need this? Do I have room for this? What if I wait to buy this? How will I feel about this tomorrow? Take some time to answer these questions. It'll really help you slow down and will stop your spending. Then, if you decide you need it, buy it tomorrow, not today. This is a huge power tip. When your emotions fade, chances are you won't buy it after all. Buy it tomorrow is a great psychological hack. Try it out for yourself. Tip number five, are you stuck? then ask for help. If these tips aren't enough to help shift your spending behaviors and you feel stuck, then please ask for help. Sometimes shopping can become an addiction, what we call a compulsive buying disorder. If left unchecked, this can have devastating consequences. But like other addictions, the great news is it can be treated. So if you have difficulty controlling your spending and it's causing you problems in your life, seek the help of a therapist or a support group such as Debtors Anonymous. I have links to some of these resources in the description below. Question for you. If you're vulnerable to overspending, what's one thing you can do differently based on these five tips? Write it down and put it into action this week. Special thanks to Hyder College of Business at Creighton University for helping sponsor this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more like it, please subscribe. And make sure to check out the video description below for links and resources. I'll see you next time.